some finished pieces that I made using several different beads from the Let's Be Mermaids bead mix and some dress it up buttons from Jesse James Beads. Now, I also used some other Jesse James bead mixes, the Sisters by Heart. I'll put the links below to the videos of those previous hauls. I had some of these twisty beads these black twisty beads. They're kind of a bluish black uh, twisty beads. So I will put the links below to everything. But this is how I did my little bracelet with the silk ribbon. I used a toggle and just tied the silk ribbon on the back. So you can use the toggle. And then I also had some of these little, like a sash type deal for a design element to mimic what's going on with that necklace. It just reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. We're gonna call that Mermaid Tears. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have been following the Johnny Depp trial, but um, yeah, that's that's going to be my support for Johnny Depp against the Amber Heard situation. And we're going with mermaid tears instead of let's be mermaids. No, I love mermaids, don't love Amber Heard, but you know, that's, that's where I'm going with that. So I don't know, it just spoke to me in, in like a Captain Jack type of design there. I know the colors are wild, but I didn't really have much choice with that clay pendant and that shell motif there. So I tried to work that in the best I could with that particular bead mix. And I mean, I don't think it's bad. It's just, it's different, you know, it's different. I do love my little cha-chas that I got in another mix. That, the Secret Stash Box, I believe. So I'll put a link below to that video if you're interested in seeing what I got in that. But the other types of beads, I just had some wooden beads in my stash that were that teal color, that coral color, and that really light bluish green color there. So I have a little bit of everything going on in order to make these. These are my little mermaid earrings. I just loved how that turned out. Now they're not gonna be exact because of, like I tell my students, the nature of handmade means it's not gonna be an exact science, right? So they look a little bit different in the wire work that I did, but I think they turned out ultra cute. And I did get the check glass beads that are the heads there in a Jesse James fire polish bag that came, I think in my secret stash. This is a light Aurora Borealis amethyst. Really pretty beads there. I thought it looked perfect for the color scheme I was going with this particular design of earring. <laughs> it just really made me laugh. And then I have these little babies. Now, I don't remember where I got those little pink shell those coin shells, but the sand dollars, the sparkly sand dollars are from the Dress It Up Buttons little box that we got in with the Let's Be Mermaids mix here for the month of June from Jesse James Beads. So all of these products I will have linked below in my description. If you are interested in any of them, please check those out. Those will be my affiliate links. And of course, as always, I appreciate whenever you use those because it helps me do what I do on my channel in between work and full time. I love to create jewelry and show you guys different products. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share with any of your beading friends that might be interested in any of these luscious goodies that you see before you, especially if they're interested in a mermaid theme. How cute is that? As always, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. You make it fun. I hope you have a sparkle day, y'all. Bye!